Hey everybody, it is September 24th and today was the day, is the day that the Brianna Taylor decision came out and of course this killing happened before even George Floyd happened and, but that coming out just kind of reignites the unrest, the protests that have been, you know, just so prevalent and, you know, since May in our country and, you know, my city is getting ready to, you know, kind of defend against that again, boarding up downtown areas and things like that, uh, with protesters being all but, you know, for sure. And, you know, and then there's the, the semi unrest in my own house me and the teenager, it's getting better. It was better today, but you know, it's, it's still there. And so as I'm reading, you know, trying to make sense of things, you know, head to the Bible, find God there. Um, here's what he had to say in Romans. I want to say is Roman Romans 12, uh, 14 to 16. And he said, blessed are those who persecute, or sorry, not blessed, bless those who persecute you bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice with you. Weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. And I think, you know, blessing those who persecute you is really hard right now. And so I think me as a, you know, white woman in this world, what I can do is weep with those who weep because I, I can't say what happened there. I can't say anything necessarily about the decision, but I know people are hurting and that's, I can empathize. I can sympathize. I can weep with those who weep. Um, and that's what I will do for my nation, <laughs> my city, and, you know, for my family too, even with the turmoil going with going on, you know, in, in my household a little bit, I can weep with you know, my teenager, because, you know, there are things that he gets sad about and things that, you know, maybe unfair or he wishes was another way. And that's okay. Cause you know, that happens and empathy is powerful. And so that's a reminder that God kind of put on my heart today. And, um, it's a good reminder. If you can bless those who persecute you, that's what God calls us to do. But I think it's a step to weep with those who weep because, you know, turn the tables, it can be you. And so that's what God has on my heart. A little bit of healing uh, today, which I like healing. <laughs> healing is going in the right direction. So uh, that's where God finds me today. A little bit of uh, healing.